<coughs> See how this works when it loads up. Yeah, I had a feeling something was playing up. I've tried restarting the entire computer. Um, let's see how it goes. Problem is, this is... Um, the newest game by a fair distance that I've played on here so far. And my computer can run it, but running it as well as streaming, which requires a lot of um, computer power on its own. It may have been pushing my limits. I haven't changed any of the settings from last time though when it was working fine. So we'll see pretty much. I've turned down the settings a little bit though. And already this is feeling a lot better. To play at least. Hopefully that means it's also going to look a little bit better. No. He's a bad man. Uh, in fact. Let's do that, just in case. Hopefully we're live. It's kind of... I mean, I could get my phone out, but... It's going to cause problems of its own. There's no real way for me to check. Not efficiently, not easily. Do we go into the swamp first? I think we do. Crab people, crab people. Tastes like crab, walks like people. Ooh, grass crest. Grass crest is a fine shield. Come on, buddy. Wowie. Wowie. Yeah, take him a little bit more seriously than that. Or just don't fight him, I guess, is one option. Hmm. Don't think we lost anything important. Apart from progress, but... Such is life. Stabby stab, stabby stab. Stabity stab stab, stabby stab. Ow! Asshole. Yeah, that asshole. Oh, good to know, Kasia. Uh, okay. So, streaming was taking about 50% of my CPU, and now it's about 30, which is a bit more reasonable. Stabby man, stabby man, does whatever a stabby man can. Oi, oi. I really don't like fighting these guys. Pretty much suck. And they're so tough. Turn around. Bright eyes. Do you not get through there easily? Is that what's going on? Ow. So far, much hurts. Still glitchy. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh god, there's two. Okay. I give up. I surrender. I surrender. Definitely surrender. You win this fight. Giant crab. Woo! That's bad times. That's the bad touch. No, 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 thank you. Pretty please, no. Yeah. We cool guys. We we gonna be dead guys. That's what we're gonna be. Uh, God damn it. How'd that? Right, let's try this. Maybe if I do that. Do that. And do that. And do that. Can't change any of that. Except maybe that. That might be what's doing it. We'll see. We'll see. That's either done something to improve it or it hasn't or it won't work until I restart again. But I'm not restarting over and over right now. Something I'll have to look up after. No, this isn't even the one I hurt. How is that fair? Where's where's the crab I hurted? I hurted a crab I did. Where is he? Ow! Asshole! And I'm out of drinks. Should we try this again? No, I won't restart again. I'm not doing that. Oh, shh. I'm going to look away and run off the edge, though. Probably get myself nearly dead, yet. Hmm. It is annoying, though. Because we had no problems. Not really. Hey-ho. Let's try this all again, shall we? Possibly leaving Crab City for now. I don't know. I kind of want to get them. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I might give it one more go. And then move on. Boop. Boop. Oh god. Why? Why? Why, 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 Delilah? Oh, he sees me all the way over there, does he? Think you're so special? Think you're so special? And these little guys will actually attack just to be a pain in the ass. We don't want that. I mean, we don't really want the big guy either, but... Yes. That works though. Didn't want to do that. I tried rolling up a tree. Want the big one. Yeah, you kill the baby crabs. Fine by me. No. I see you. I see you. Don't think I don't. Damn. I'm gonna run into the other crab very soon. I can see it happening. Big axe. Owie. Owie. No. Not the... Annoying little crabs. I don't care about them. Oh god, the other one's coming. The other one's coming. No. 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 I say good day to you, sir. Enough of this poppycock. 
You better come real close. You don't quite want to attack. Oh. Never seen that up close before. That's kind of weird. Hmm. I'm also wondering, you know, if it's some of the blowing Windows thing deciding to update itself right now. That's always fun. No. Wow. Wouldn't let me do anything. Not a single goddamn thing. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of weird. He digs underground. As crabs do. Actually, probably some crabs. But it's more that I'm worried about it trying to do it in the background. Why did it come this way? Damn, that was silly. Although we do kind of need to die a few times. For reasons. Missed. Truly awful. Absolutely the worst. Stab! Stab! No. How about no? Um... So... These dark sigils I have do actually do something, and it's most noticeable in the face. Remember how we turned all zombified in the first game? It's still in this, but it happens more gradually. I think overall in a less severe way. That one. There is. Mm, it's kind of worth, I think, doing it. That was weird. That was really weird. Nope. He lived. Good on him. Yeah, we want. We can only get more dark sigils after we've died a few times. And there's a time limit on being able to get them. So, if we want to do a thing with Yol, we have to play along for now. Hello, doggo. Ugh. Don't think we checked up here yet. No. Don't know what you're trying to do, pal, but I'm gonna have to interrupt. Ah. Come on, there we go. We got that item. This is actually a much larger area than I gave it credit for. We're not going to be able to fly like th through this like um, Dark Souls. We're just going to plod along. But that's also fine. I see items over there. I really want to get them. Screw it, we're right here. Crab death battle! If I can get him to do that move... Then I have cheap hits over and over. There we go. Hmm. Eat katana crab. Of course, that move looks very similar and doesn't give me the same opportunity. Hmm. 
No. So close. There we go. One crab. One giant crab. Gives us... Okay. Boo. Oh, we can go this way. Which way do we go? Ooh. Let's go this way first. Giant crab battle number two. Let's get heady off our small victory. Ow. That sucks. That slows our movement. Which makes it easier for him to keep hitting us, of course. And now all our Estus is gone. But that's an easy hit. And a very satisfying one. I don't want to be in here. I can't move very fast. There we go. Ow! Owie! Hmm. I'm going to have to go back to that one now. If I can go by the first guy, though, we'll be alright. It's honestly tempting to summon some help just to get through this annoying ass area right now. But, um. Oh, he stays dead. That's convenient. Oh, no, he's over here. Damn it. If we run over to this middle island. If we run over to this middle island, as I was saying, then maybe we can get him to lose interest. For night gear. But this does take us scarily close to this guy. Let's get our souls. Hope he's lost interest. Probably wishful thinking. Let's get these items. No, that's not. That's a bad area. Oh god, they're both coming. They're both coming. Let me through! God damn it! Mm. Why I order? We're going to go back and do that other one later. This is fine. Dying is fine. It's all part of the game. Ba -ba -da -ba. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah, screw the souls. We don't need them. Not right now. Not overly. Uh... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's go the back way. That was weird, again. It missed him. That's not a suspicious area at all. Boop. Esther Shard? Esther Shard. Totally non suspicious area. You hear no groaning. Ember. Definitely can't lock onto him, I know that. Ooh, ooh, just about. Keep attacking. Keep the aggression, and I'm fine. Could get really lost and go up that way. Ooh, item. Green Blossom. We are not alone in here. Look at him. Half expect to see him with a little snorkel. Hiding his head under the water. Sage Ring. No use to us, but that's fine. Let's 
Guy was not in a good way when he died. He was a sorcerer. Oh no, we can't do that now. Not now we have the uggo face. Mm. I do like that though. Yeah, why not? Let's mix it up a bit. Feels weird. Um, feels weird holding a katana and being in like Western medieval armor. But it's fine, I guess. This is Dark Souls. Dork. Let's carry on this way. Hi, buddy. Ow, I forgot about your friend. One nil to you, I guess. What's pretty? The armor? It is some pretty cool armor. Die, filthy mage. Pain in the ass. Crystal gem. Again, no use to us, but that's fine. Do we want to? I think we want to. We do want to. How this guy's not falling off, falling off yet. In this state of decay, it's kind of hard to know. I think a sacrifice is always useful. Oh, the one with the crucifix on his back. Yeah, there's a few of them. <gasps> Got it. Ugh. Yeah. Sit there with your tiny ass shield. Um, that's where we were. I can hear somebody moving. No idea where. Ah. Damn it. Okay. Flagged it. Shut up. Ooh. Nope. I know when I'm at a loss. Discretion, the better part of valor, of course. Who next? Who won? That does look kind of cool. We're the true black swordsmen. Um, yeah. Maybe not quite. Items. A staff. Mm. Anything interesting? Mm. Used by generations of heretic sorcerers. Sorcery is a logical academic discipline and the power of sorceries depends on the intelligence. Yeah, boring. Wizards are smart. Burp. And then this is the main entrance in. Okay, which leaves one room really. No? Well, one room, an upstairs and a downstairs. If I remember. Which I may not, but I feel like I did. Oh. We are smart enough. He will listen to us. We're smart. So smart. Like, he's right here. Any of you monsters want to come and attack him? No? 
No, only me. Okay. Well, wouldn't want to put you out. Shut up. He's very... Yeah. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. Uh, I mean, I don't really want sorceries, but How sure. Intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. However, what champion wants service without recompense? Clearly, you are not that sort of woman. So How'd you, you guess? Make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? I mean, I probably can't make a whole lot of use of them. So sure. Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck of Vinheim. Orbeck of Vinheim. One. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Not quite. But, just to fuck with him. Yeah, I feel better now. Oh! Good luck tidying that up whenever you come back. I wonder. Oh my god, it's flying paper! Ooh. Spoopy. Uh, let's get that. Bug pellet. Everyone down here is going to be already angry at me from running around upstairs. Oh, good lord. Crystal gem. There. No, you're not interested? Not interested enough, anyway. Oof. No. Hold his shield up until the second I go to kick it and then he drops it for a normal attack. Always. Ow! Oh. I'm definitely not hiding around a corner. Hmm. They seem to be forming a plan. They're working as a unit. Owie! Hmm. Let's see how smart you are against a sword. Screw you. Silly wizards. Uh, no. That way is fine. We can ignore that for now. Two flasks. I wonder. I bet. It's got to be someone. There's one. Or we'll summon Egon. Not of Ghostbusters notoriety. Fairly sure he just makes what's coming up harder, but he has a really big hammer, so we'll let him off. And if we find another, we find another. Totally non suspicious area. <gasps> no, it's not worth it. And there's the Crystal Sage. You're a 
little bit slow there. Just, just... Yeah, he's already gone, mate. He's like over here. There we go. You can take them. Taking them like a boss. Hmm. I want to say he's going to come up over here. Okay. Near enough. Thought I'd be doing more damage to him. That's still not working, mate. Nice relaxed boss fight. Down to half health. Wait for the music change. Ow. Thought I was safe. Ow! Oh god damn. It's a pain in the ass from behind his wall. Now I'm out of healing. You see this guy loves his crystals. Much like somebody else we've seen before. Not in this game admittedly, but... There's the real one. It has the purple magic. Ow! But they can all definitely still hit me. They can all definitely still hit me. Woo! We're running it close. Let's... Throwing knives don't do nearly enough damage. And I'm dead. Because I pressed the wrong chuffing button. Oh, I've never died to that before, I don't think. Stop messing around. Oh, did he just win? He just won after I died. I wonder what's going to happen there. Huh. Huh. I'm sure that said... Let's run through this. Try and find an answer. Stop it. Let everybody sleep. They're happy sleeping. Don't disturb them. It's not very nice. Should be a bit easier without everybody already angry at me. Damn it. I mean, they'll still become angry. Oh, okay. I won. Do you like how I won the fight? That was dumb. Let's light this. And go spend those souls. Before we lose them. Because I feel like today is a strong chance of losing them. <sighs> yeah. Did you see it though, as I was dying and the screen was changing to this screen, it was like, uh, whatever it is, boss defeated. Ah. Oh well. Welcome home, speak thy. Very well. Then touch the take nourishment from... Is that it? One. Farewell, Ashen One. Don't think we can upgrade weapons anymore. Or any higher. Although we do have the Estus Flask. Well remembered me. Yeah, it was only for a second. But I do remember seeing it. That needs large titanite. This needs titanite shards. Mm, I really want to use these a bit, so I'm going to start leveling them up, I think. That 
worth it. Grey rot, anything for me? Oh, hey, handy. Mm. Not really. Though, since I have spare money, let's have some more of them. Goodbye. Sorry, in a bit of a rush. I would do Draw out my strength again, again, since we've died a bit more. Bet. More vitality. I'm liking our fashion. Be safe. I hate to kind of use you y'all and run off, but we have things to do. Uh, let's check if we can make anything interesting from his soul. Uh -huh. so Nothing of interest at all. A rapier and a magic spell. Neither of which works for us. Back we go. Now I can't really remember what's out behind the Crystal Sages. Yeah, basically. Spend the souls before I lost them. As much as anything. What is out behind? Oh, I know. It goes to the Cathedral. Cathedral or the Swamp? Totally the Cathedral. Swamp's annoying. This way has lizard bros. Two so far. Not off that ledge. Don't think that's going to end well for me if I try and sneak up. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Not even that attack. That was what I wanted. More of these guys. Remember how fun these guys were? Angry, angry men. But we're a little bit stronger, at least. At least a little. Off the edge. Damn. I went down with you. Ow. Gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna die a horrible death in this corner. Uh. Okay. Got the other guys. Time for an ambush. Great machete. No good for us, methinks. No. Ah, you can parry the book. I forgot I wasn't two handed. Oh. Oh. I might be too tired for this game. After Dark Souls, we're definitely playing some slow ass RPG. Classic JRPG from like the 90s. Lots and lots of people standing around talking. Yeah, maybe we'll throw some Mario in at some point, but... Can't just mash against these guys. There.
round two. It's a better start. That's what we like. Get down. Stay down, more to the point. She sure is hefty. She has a spiked whip. Never noticed that. Not sure she ever uses it. There's a hat. Herald gear. <laughs> I'll make sure to get it together for at least um, one stream. Do another, do some more retro stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, do that kind of thing. Let's sit down. Now, if I remember, there's some sneaky sword down here. Is he not aggressive? Oh, he is. And he's wearing the same armor as us. That didn't work too well. That did. For me, anyway. Slow ass attacks aren't going to help. Um, no? Rude? Oh, I'm in trouble. He's trying to parry me. That's my trick. Nope. Sidestep your arrows. Okay, some of that then. Oof. Is that you want to play? Is that you want to play? Ooh, don't want that. There we go. Apparently he's tough. It's probably the super cool armor he's wearing. It'll do that. Uh, let's have a drink. Drinky drink. Paladin's ashes. He was guarding that for some reason. Umbral ash of a worn out paladin who sought the cathedral of the deep. With this, the shrine, blah blah, new items. This paladin paid quite a price for his headstrong justice. He seems to be clutching the item in his hand, if I'm not wrong, looks like an undead hunter charm. Which is used to stop people using Estus. Used long ago by Lloyd's cleric knights on their undead hunts. Although All, Fa All Father Lloyd is long forgotten by the way of white, his hunts have lived on and this charm allows one to challenge undead without fear of tenacious healing. So this guy died while fighting undead. Is I think what we can work, get from that, pretty much. Makes sense, right? Seems logical to me. Right, since he doesn't respawn, I'm going to sit again to get more Estus. Estus! Yeah. No. Oh, never mind. This is fine. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Not actually very far from the castle. No, that can't be the castle. That's the cathedral. What am I talking about? Shield, big whoop. 
That didn't work. Should have known, really. Oof. No, that's slow. That's very slow. Slower than that, really. Damn it. Dang, damn it. These guys are quite tough. Especially if I'm messing around. But I want to parry them. I want to use the shield. For no other reason than it looks cool. And it sounds cool. Thus it is better. Efficiency is nothing. It's all about being the cool guy. Uh-huh. You're gonna shout at me? Should've got that. Ooh, he got me. He definitely got me. Ooh. He does a slow one. He knows. He knows. He sees through me. There we go. Oh, such an annoying move. And that. He's just annoying. Okay, he's, he's enough of this. Stay down. Bad bandit. I did. Oh. But here's the thing. The best way of playing Dark Souls is always to stand behind the giant shield. Like I did in Dark Souls 1 a lot. Well, not a lot, but I did enough. Um... It's less fun. I don't know. I may just start doing it to get through the game faster. But while I'm having fun. Ow! Ow! Just. Ooh. That kind of behavior can really turn you off somebody. No. No. I see you, doggo. No? Sure. You attack from your little ledges. Yeah, exactly. Eventually I'll get frustrated and I'll just pull out a big shield, but until then... Keep being the cool guy. Some would argue, but this is never the case. I would have to disagree. Totally unnecessary, but also totally worth it. Ow! You shit. Or woman? Are these dicks with the crossbows? I think not. Mm. 
Here we go. You're going to like these guys, Kasha. They have an absolutely foolproof method of attack. Let's see what he does. Oh, me? I'm super cool, as always. Although, as I keep dying, my face is getting more and more messy. Yeah, I'm pretty much full zombie now. Let's, let's leave that hood on, shall we? Yeah, but the Human Torch in Fantastic Four, he can do it at will, and he lives through it. And he can fly. This guy just sets himself on fire and kind of explodes. And dies. Kind of a one-use thing. There is lore behind it, though. So those evangelists, the big fat ones in the hats, they're they're teaching the hollows to do this as a way of keeping their numbers down, self-extermination. And also, it's part of their creed. I can't remember entirely why, but something to do with self-immolation. But then I suppose. When you rekindle the first flame, you set yourself on fire, you burn yourself away to keep it going. I don't want to talk to this guy yet. Ah, merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve and the ash to kindle flame. I think he's done. I think he's done. But yeah, we're going to leave him alone for a minute. I know what all these messages are going to say. Let's just... No? Okay. Try finger, butthole. There we go. So predictable. Let's rest here a moment. So here, up on the dais, get a little hint of what's ahead. Lots of ministers. Um, the people that lead these orange messages um, are generally generally players. There are a few throughout the game that are left by the developers where they really felt felt like you need uh, guidance. But I can, for instance... Uh, I don't even remember how to do it. There we go. Message. See, I could go in here and I could... I don't know. Something required a head. Fog wall required a head. And then I could put that down. Uh, this guy, this guy isn't a player. He is alive, and he is, or at least was at some point. I don't know. It's kind of unclear. He's he's human. Yeah, he's human. As are all those guys outside. Like all the people that look humanoid are human. They're just afflicted one way or another by a curse or oh item. A whip. Great. Never going to use it. You know what? That's a lie. I'm going to use it once. It's a bit of a shame, really, because it has a kind of cool moveset. And that is really cool. But they're awful weapons. Um. Why is he still alive? He's kept his purpose, maybe. Um. He's not been killed as many times. There are a variety of reasons. There is. He does still have a purpose. 
Very much so. But we're not going to find that out quite now. Humans generally only go full hollow once they lose their sense of purpose and have nothing new to live for. Nope. Nope. Another Esther shard. I'm going to have to go back at some point to do that. I don't think we want to go that way. Not yet. In fact, before we get any further, I just realised I have to do this. And equip a torch. For no real reason. Now, we're pretty much going to run through this area because there's very little point killing these. Everyone you kill, more come up in their place. So, let's just have a look around for items and try and get through it. Because I'm not a huge fan of pointless exercises. You're in the way. It's unlucky for you, mate, but you are in the way. I'm very, very naked. And a store a greatsword. Uh, could potentially try it out. War reference to a store being ruined. In the description, of course. A store is where... Um, A guy friend we met earlier with Horace is from. I can't remember what he's called. Henri. Or Anri. Uh, wherever you want to look at it. Do we go down there? I feel like I don't want to. Oh, good. He had the guy burst out of his chest. Look at this, not a trap, with all these corpses huddled around. Get that one, it's fine. Get that one, and suddenly they're all awake. Everyone wants a piece of me today. No, I hear you transforming. Don't, don't. Stand in the way, like an asshole. He is like an asshole. You're just too tempting. Oof, brutal. That was fairly straightforward. Oh, go on then. Off you go. I kind of hung there for a second like a Looney Tunes cartoon. I can appreciate that. I don't like these guys. They ain't pretty, but we're pretty much getting to that point. Look at those arrows. I wonder what it may signify. Another white birch tree also, which is worth noting. Undead bone shard, very useful. Now, in case you haven't noticed, that's some fresh giant arrows coming in. Not hurting us, though. Can we try and spot them? Coming in from over that way. I think... If we can get a better vantage point... kind of going to struggle because these guys will keep respawning and attacking us. Oh. This is a bad idea. I should at least kill this one. Okay, I feel slightly safer. Ow! 
I forgot about you. You didn't forget about me. I know you didn't. Oof. I thought he was going to kill me. I thought he was going to be the lucky one. Brave Warden Rap. Okay, we'll look at that in a moment. But what I was trying to do, before I got so repeatedly and rudely interrupted, is so you see those arrows, and all the way over there, and you even see him on top, is the giant bro. Which I think is cool. And that's not the last place he'll help us. Yeah, the ones with, with the... These guys... Kind of gross. Fortunately, Giant Bro agrees. And he'll take him out for us. Gonna get this one? Please get this one. Young White Branch. Young White Branch. Let's get that. A soul. That I'll never get old watching that. Deeply, deeply unnecessary, but so much fun to do. Anyway. Oh, come on. Anything else? Anyone else for anything else? Nope. We good. We good. Right. We can go up safely now. Uh. Ish. Looks a lot like the front way. But could equally be the back way. Also completely unnecessary. Get a great shield that we also won't use, I don't think. Kick the ladder. Just noticed that statue halfway down. That looks weird. I assume, no we can't use binoculars on ladder, that'd be silly. Looks kind of like a bird person maybe? It's hard to tell. He is. He's our best buddy. Oh, we could look at the one down here. Oh, a human with a hood? Something attached to its back? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Hmm. Odd at any rate. Definitely odd. These guys are even more gross. And I would really appreciate it if he managed to not hit me. There we go. Let's check this way. So much area to clear out. Nope, we're all good. Other way. If they hit us, they drop some kind of leech creatures on us that keep doing damage, which makes them a serious pain in the ass. But they're not too bright. They are really gross, though. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay, that's for casting miracles. Great. More things we'll never use. Three and they're dead. Uh, oh, 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 we want that, we want that. I mean, we don't really, but we may as well get it. And then we want that. Ooh, we might be able to swap to our t twin blade soon. I would quite like to do that. For a while, anyway. More lizard bros. Run into the corner. Got you. 
Fortunately, because they always try and run directly away from you, if you just run to their side, they get tricked pretty easily. Oh, I forgot about him. Crystal Lizard. Oh, he's tough. Staggers him. Surprising. It's a dumb move. Such a dumb move. Okay. I got lucky. I'm not going to lie. I got very lucky. I was just mashing the button. Getting too aggressive. Oh, it's another one. I'm dead. He done got dead. It's slightly upsetting that out of all the accents I can't do, one I kind of can is a southern drawl. Or a hillbilly drawl, I guess, more to be fair. Um, homina homina. That's a shortcut back to the bonfire. Which we don't need quite yet. We want to get up there. It's way round to get up there. What, what, what? This way. There we go. I knew there had to be some way up. short version, I'm awful at accents, Kasha. But the closest I ever managed for some reason seems to be a hillbilly redneck. Uh, let's go this way. Um. No. Let's actually go this way. There we go. In the good old US and A. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, the US and A. Oh, ans would be French, wouldn't it? French for years? I think. It's to do with age, fairly sure. Je suis trois cent onze. No. Trois. Trois cm? No, I don't know. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've had to use any kind of French. Or even tried to use any kind of French. Let's try the main door. Bound to work, right? No. Nope. Red bug pellet. Look at this one. It's bottom of the stairs, just chilling out. Oh, you dick, I forgot that one. What a turd. What a turd. I don't know. Just, just French is less amusing. It's like if you want to shout something angry, do it in German. What's French good for? Apparently cursing, but... I don't know, sometimes you just want to do an angry German shout at somebody. To really get your point across. Let's try this. Oh no, someone's set themselves on fire behind me. I heard him. It's all good. It opens from the other side. I believe is what it told us. It should do because that's I know that to be true. Cool. Let's do some rooftop, rooftop running. 
Wake him up. You're convincing nobody with your acting. Bye. Oh. Oh, look at him. He stayed on by hooking his foot before he died. Don't like that. Be gone. Be gone. Why? Be gone. I'm going to die doing that, so I'm going to stop. Ooh, nearly. Now, this area is a pain because all around, got these little assholes hanging off everything, just waiting to jump down on us. Suppose they'd be incense burners, wouldn't they? Feels kind of pointless outside, but hey, who am I to judge? Now, when I go back under. Oh. Well done, killed yourself. In fact, let's just do this. Nope, I say. You see, there's already... Um, the world just feels a bit empty and not built, and also it's, it's I don't know, it's just missing a lot of the heart of what makes it interesting. To me, anyway. As a game, it's fine. As a Dark Souls, it's not good. It doesn't really add anything worthwhile. I see your hands. I see your hands. Soul. Anybody else climbing up? Anybody else? There's another one. This guy dropped down, at least. Ow! Ow! You little turd. Greatest samurai in all the land. There's going to be another one on the other side of this bridge. I can almost guarantee it. Ready to attack me when I go past. No? Kind of shocked. Yeah, the, the, generally, the world just doesn't feel as fleshed out. Plus, the game's really slow. Like, it's similar, but it just, the, the game, I don't know. It feels like you're running through oil most of the time. Or tar. You die first. And now your turn. I can even see him. I'm even moving his cloth. And he's still like, he hasn't seen me though. Gotta be at least one more, right? Yeah, there we go, one more. Fucking knew it. Traps everywhere. You see what I mean about them just becoming a bit predictable? Like, when you put a trap around every single corner, it's no longer really a trap. It just means you have to check every single corner. That one, that evangelist, seems to be in the process of holding its sermon. Oh, no. That item it's thrown stops me from using my Estus. Owie. I want to run away. This is bad times right here. At least they've killed themselves. Idiots. No. No cuddles. Not today. Son of a bitch! Oh, this is gonna kill me. Not gonna work. You know how these set themselves on fire? Like the uh, weaker guys, but these can survive it. Oof, oof. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Stop screwing about.
stop screwing about. Spiked mace and some trousers. Trousers. Undead hunter charms. Things they used on me. Anybody going to drop on me here? No? Okay, sure. So. This area is so big. We should get to... Can we jump that? Oh no, we go down here. That's right. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But weirdly, if I select them and put them on, does it give us any information? No, nothing new. I can put them on. I mean, it looks goofy, but I can. Yeah, let's have some boots. Booties. There we go. Not your day, buddy. Not your day. How many more of the little guys are going to attack me? I'm fairly sure there's... Look at him. Look at him. Oh, and then one drops behind you even. There's literally no avoiding the ambushes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Still never see their faces. Gotta wonder, don't you? What they actually look like under there. And why do they have the pot bellies? Entirely possible they've been eating people or some such. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. For real? Yeah, you would. Hey, turd. Come on. Nope. Thought I heard another. Bet there's one up here. No? You little shit. It's like, no, you're not allowed to heal. Absolute garbage. Stabby stab. Can't remember what they're called. Um, not workers. Do we have one of their items? No, we've got to put some stuff away soon too. Anything? Nothing. Okay. What are they blooming called? I'm sure it begins with P. Hmm. These guys suck. Come on, Speedy. They're not very smart though. Oh, I'm not very smart either though, so it's fine. It's fair. We can all be big dummies. But you're the dead dummy, so that's all that really matters as far as I'm concerned. Round two. Oh. Not sure I've seen them do that before. Certainly not very often. Damn. Maybe it began with a G. Thralls! That's their name. They're thralls. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, oh, look at that. The cuddling. The spooning. We're actually honest to God spooning. Isn't that sweet? Even in death, they say. Even in death. We will spoon. Not th not trolls. Thralls. T-H-R-A-L-L-S. But yeah. Spooning. Londor. Lothric. Supports uh, same-sex relationships. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> they do. I think it's sweet. Um, can't go there. This guy. Look at him. I'm just a dead man. Don't mind me. Run past. Let's open the door first. I think. Makes more sense. Let's clear out this end first. And then we can go in. Oh. That is completely worthless. Hey guys. Pay attention. Aha! Tricked you. Oh, there's more. There's even more. Can you all just set yourselves on fire? That makes my life a lot easier. Oh god. Oh god, this is... This is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, talk about mistakes. Oh. That's one. Are you not going to come in here? Oh, you're very aggressive. You are going to come in here. You were just trying to fool me. Ah, three attacks. It's hard to know when they've finished attacking, because sometimes they'll hold after two, and then they'll come out with a third one as soon as you get near. Which makes it a real pain in the ass to fight. And they do not give up. If there's one thing that can be said for these guys, it's they're persistent. Let's do this now. I think that was all of them at least. Nope, there's one guy still waiting at the end on his own. Guys, where'd you go, guys? Oh, come on. Nope. An ember. All that for an ember. Right, inside we go. Yeah, we got time. Hey, buddy. What you doing? This giant, of course, significantly bigger than the friendly ones we faced. Seems like they were trying to lock him up in here. It's hard to really say for sure. I see you, Sludge Man. We're gonna want these. No. Let's play it slow and play it smart. I'm not being tricked by that. Here we go. Round the corner. Fuck the tables. Fuck the tables. And the chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Except that's invincible. But the chairs aren't. Yeah. Petty vengeance. The best form of vengeance. 
Right. Uh, before we go that way. Nah, it's fine. If I can't vent my anger against some... Some chairs and tables inside a game. Where can I vent? And that's our shortcut back to this bonfire. I love the shortcuts. Uh... Let's go back quickly, spend the souls again, uh, drop off the Estus shard we found, and then we'll be right back here. I think that's fair, right? He says, having already done it. Well, very well then taken. That's 60. I definitely want more stamina, but I think I want more dex first. Uh, Yo, you want to make us a bit stronger again before we go further? Oh, I w then shall you there. will. Good, good, good. Let's get that up to 15. I think. Well, we could become slightly luckier. No, that's mm, not super useful right now. This is definitely useful. Be safe. Oh, we have some ashes as well to drop off to the shrine handmaiden. Need to remember that. Oh, hello, and in one piece. What? Nope, you're oh, fine for now. Uh, Andre. That is good. What neat. That's all we've got. We can make those stronger. One, one eighteen plus twenty-five. Oh. is still significantly stronger. I can't put what I want on there. Okay. Prit. Prit. How gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash. Yeah, pretty much me. makes it easier if you put them all in one hub. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Have we got anything new of interest? Not so much. Right. Mm. Sells these things now, that's fine. Some random new weapons and stuff. Ooh. Boost defense when HP's full. I'm gonna have to buy that at some point. Might as well get it now. While we're here, we'll buy a spare ember. Ashen one. Huh. Will do. Mark. Here's Orbeck, for instance. Now he's teleported oh, away. Again. I'm Orbeck of Vinheim, here to teach you sorceries. Let us begin with the basics. I invited the them and they, they came along. There's the twin faces of the dragon. It... Oh, you could at least act as if you're paying attention. No. I don't mean to seem overbearing, but have you forgotten? In exchange for my sorceries, you are to bring me knowledge in the form of scroll detailing the secrets of sorcery. I hope you're not one to break a promise. Not generally. There's no point if if you know you're not going to keep it. Why why make the promise in the first time first place is my way of looking at it. So never make promises unless you know you can. For instance, when people ask you to promise things that are completely outside your control, what why? But hey ho. So he sells magic spells. Come again. 
Uh, yeah. Right, I think we're done in here for now. Nobody hiding around here? No. Uh, now's not the time to mess around. We have one of them. That's good. That makes... When we burn the undead bone shards, that means that our one swig of Estus heals more. Which is good. And we added an Estus splash shard, which means we have more individual drinks. We're getting there. We're getting strong. Well, we're at least getting more defensive. Maybe another day. We will definitely be seeing more of him though. I can guarantee you that. Let's see if we can get through this area. Trying to get the cloak to do a spin. Um, because he'll take us somewhere, and that place is from the DLC or downloadable content, which is stuff that's like added to the game after. It's meant to be played. Who, did someone just. Dark Spirit, could you not? Somebody's just invaded us, and it's very clearly a player. I don't know where they are. So they'll find us. Um, yeah, but anyway, where he teleports us is somewhere much later in the game. Or somewhere you want to be much stronger when you face, anyway. A really cool area, but it's also really tough. That's right. Damn it. Let's forget parrying them for today. I clearly don't have my A game on. Not that we know what my A game looks like. There we go. I am waiting for the invader to appear at some point and just destroy me. Oh, you little turd. Let's try and land on my head in a very not subtle way. Okay. Now it's time to run. He can reach this place. I don't like this fact. Get out of the way. Damn it. Got another ring. Thought I'd dodge that. I had not. Get the item. Keep running. Oof. They're going to shoot me while I run. Kind of them. Much appreciated. Okay. Ow. Not quite. Now here, uh, it's just what invaders do. Pretty much. Gets them some loyalty token of some sort, which will get them further through a covenant, which means they may get some item or new thing unlocked. This is the first Mimic of the game, I think? Or have we seen others? No, we saw another one in the first zone, didn't we? It's nearly. I'll do. 
Deep Braille Divine Tome. Remind me next time we die or when the invader's gone to look up that. I don't want to do it right now because Sod's Law says that'll be the moment he appears. Let's go up first. Yeah, I completely forgot about that first one. Particularly annoying since it killed us. Um, look at the item that we just got. The Londor Braille Divine Tome. Or the Deep Braille Divine Tome, it's one of them. He fell off. Great. No. Stop being little shits. Look at this. Look at this trap. I'll pick up the item and this can land on your head. Hurt, 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 derp. While we do that. We get a magic spell, or a miracle rather, to be more precise. Up the ladder. kind of beginning to wonder if this guy sat somewhere really annoying waiting for us. I am tempted to use the opportunity to summon someone in to help us, just to get rid of him. There we go. That's one. Ah, damn it. You little shit. Giant's gone back to sleep. No sign of the invader so far. Fortunately, he will glow bright red, which makes him very easy to spot. But, um... If we don't see him first, he's going to get the drop on us. So we need to stay fairly alert. I mean, they're probably going to be doing some really annoying tactics anyway. But if we can avoid the worst of it, that's a bonus, right? Where's the one that dropped down here? There he is. Out of the air. Mad skills. Now we have this guy, who is apparently trapped against the door. Something else I've never seen happen before. Um, dude. Work it out. Work it out. Oh, not that annoying ass stuff. I think that means he's also constantly healing. They explode. That undid your healing at least. Makes me feel a little better. Stop hiding like a little shit. And I bet you... Oh, shit. Yeah, as soon as I bounce off, he becomes aggressive. <sighs> Asshole. Asshole. Damn it. He did it twice in a row. There's my chance. Cheap hits. Missed. Come on. You've already lost. Just give up. Ah. This guy's just built to be annoying. There we go. 
Now comes an even more annoying area. Hooray for this bit. Although, should we do it the hard way and get dead? Um, there we go. Let's get this. Oh, that's cursed by the way, and if that bar fills up, we are instantly dead. And he's actually quite a lot easier than I thought. Okay. We have a new ring. All this stuff to look at, and somewhere this guy is still in our game. Yep. I think, anyway. He would have told us if he'd gone. I'm sure I've not missed it. Well, I'm not sure, but I feel like I haven't missed it. If we go beyond here, we get invaded by an NPC. Hmm. There we go. Here's another character from the first game is somehow magically still alive and invading people. Details are kind of non-specific. He's in no rush. That's good enough, I guess. That's better. Says he's one of Rosaria's fingers, which is something to note later. That's better. Ow. Yeah. That's what we say to you, Kirk. Gives us some spiky equipment. No. Statue spraying poison. Makes sense, right? Ow, you little... Shits! Anyone this way? No. There is, however, giant buddy. No, that was the NPC one. I feel like there's a human around somewhere, but I can't find him. Oh, I'm sure he's waiting for the most annoying moment to reappear. Or to appear in the first instance, I guess. Maybe he's already left and I didn't notice, but I don't think so. There's one very good way to find out, actually. If I go this way for another shortcut, if I can get as far as the bonfire and light and use it, he's gone. Which is becoming a secondary problem because I quite need to go to the lab. No, that's fine. No, neither did I. That's what makes me think he's still here. We'll find out very shortly. Oh no, we can rest. Okay, since I can rest, I'm going to very quickly nip to the loo. Be back in under a minute.
good, good, good. Right, so first thing, we know we don't have to worry about the invader anymore. Which is good. Secondly, there is a significantly reduced chance of me wetting myself. So, let's go, I think we want to go, oh, actually, I wonder, fuck chairs. Sure did. Ish. Nope, still nope. Hmm. Um. Why is it down? Why was it up? Must have hit it. Must have. Just gone to the wrong shortcut, that's why. Idiot. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, yeah. Doopy doo. Doopy doo, doopy doo. Let's open this, just because. Kind of looks like I'm carrying a little hat on my back. Except for it looks a little bit metal. Metallic. But probably would function as a hat. It'd look a bit doofy, but... Oh. Yeah. So, we pulled the lever over here, and that raised this gate off, which protects us from this giant. Not that I think it actually achieves anything, but... Theoretically, he can't reach us in here. Um... Come on, then. Oh, you guys all suck. There we go. Damn it. Nope. Not today. Flambeige. Let's kill those little thralls. Oh, you pain in the ass creatures. God damn it. Oh my god. Okay. Is he poisoned? He is poisoned. Sucks to be you, dude. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to let the poison kill you. Because that's what you deserve. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. Die from poison. Soul. Oh, not in there yet. Dad went quick. I assume you mean that. <laughs> oh no! He's gonna catch me! No, he's not. Idiot. <sighs> I think it's time to try and deal with this guy.
Sorry, bro. I know full well you'll attack me as soon as you have the chance. I realise the view's not amazing for this fight, but that's kind of the designer's fault more than mine. But you can't realistically fight him and look at him at the same time. It's a problem with giant enemies, or one of the problems with giant enemies. The second, and more obvious of course, being that they really struggle to hit you. You just stand under their feet. I am doing damage, I assure you. It's just he has a lot of health. Understandably. There we go. Sorry. I mean, the point of view is correct, it's just... doesn't make for a very cinematic fight, does it? In case you wonder why I'm swapping weapons and I'm moving funny, the special move of these daggers, or a lot of daggers to be fair, is this jump, this, this dash rather. That means you can move a bit faster through the sludge. Because if I roll, I just get that. And that's no good. Let's go faster. Open the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. Frog. Yeah, kind of frog-like. Hold the door. Hodor. Poor Hodor. We get a Saint Bident, like a trident, but with two prongs. And a homeward bone, or a few homeward bones. Right, okay. While we are here, what have we got recently? Nothing here. Nothing useful there. We've got the Deep Braille Divine Tome. Belongs to the Deacons of the Cathedral. Intended to teach divine protection to the Deacons of the Deep, but later dark tales were added to its pages, such that it is now considered a thing profane. Mm, so not a whole lot of that. A silver, silver bident decorated by a holy symbol. Formerly wielded by Saint Klimt. I think that's the only time we get reference for him, but sure. He discarded this weapon that draws upon one faith on the day that he put his own faith behind him. So a saint that gave up on the church. Hmm. Sad storyline. Oh, for Hodor, yeah, of course. But he did die a hero. Possibly one of the most important characters performing one of the most important actions in the series. I don't know. It depends how, uh, how how vital Bran is to the future story. But I get the feeling it's going to be quite important. Or well, he's going to be quite important, really. Game of Thrones is starting to get a bit dumb, though, in my opinion. Okay, we want to go left. Time to fight the other gi other giant. Oh, nearly called him a dragon. But yeah, Game of Thrones, it's all getting a bit too Hollywood now that it's gone past the books and they're writing it themselves. Like, I know they're getting some guidance from George R. 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 Martin, but it's all feeling like they're just turning it into any other magical fantasy show and that's really missing the point because a lot of Game of Thrones has always oh he got me or something got me a lot of Game of Thrones has always been closer to a court uh, not courtroom um, 
Ah. It's, it's all about the political intrigue, isn't it? More than, I have a dragon and he fights this undead lich lord and all this, that. Like, I know that's been building for ages. That's definitely part of the story. But focusing too much on the romance scenes and too much on the fights and who everyone loves rather than who is actually important and I don't know I mean I'm still going to watch it it's very much its own thing but well it's getting to the point where I'm expecting Harry Potter style wizard wand battles and that should never be Game of Thrones this guy's toenails are very rotted I mean, I suppose he is standing in sludge, but... He needs himself a pedicure. Or manicure. Pedicure's feet, right? Peddy? If I can get him out of the sludge a little bit, I can move better. Ugh, he keeps catching me. Ah, Those little shits. There we go. Small f stories like, yeah, like Littlefinger and Tyrion. And, um, like they missed out Tyrion's dwarf friend from the wedding. The one who rode, was it pigs? I think it was pigs, wasn't it? They did the show. And he went and joined her in the foreign lands and all that. Like she wasn't a vital character, but she was interesting. She didn't deserve to just be written out. I know they have to save some time, but I don't know, it just feels a bit off. Are you up to date on Game of Thrones? Have you seen all that has been released so far? Because Littlefinger, oof. Never read the book? You should, they're good books. Not amazing, they have been overhyped, but... Yeah, Littlefinger got what was coming to him. Hi, birdie. Not to try and put you down, but you ain't pretty. Hmm. Yeah, so glad to see Littlefinger getting what was due. Drang hammers. Hmm. What have we got? No, still nowhere near enough tide tonight. There we go, out of the sludge. He was. He became over the top. Everybody seems to have become more extreme. And I know it's getting towards the end of the show. But it just feels a bit sloppy at times. What is he doing? What a dick move. Come on then. Yeah, he was starting to get too passive aggressive. And that's just always annoying as a character trait. Okay, two. Do you like the church garb? I want to get rid of him first, really. Because he's going to be easier. He's going to not let me do that. Ah, towards them. Always roll towards them. Missed. But that's fine. We got him. I don't know if we're going to manage this. Okay. Uncle Benjen... Yeah, that's also... They combined two characters, didn't they? Because there was... The guy... Ugh, the guy who was working with the Three-Eyed Crow. And then I can't remember if Uncle Benjen showed up in the books, but yeah. No, he wasn't in it much. But, he was still a Stark. Let's run away. Let's, let's be sensible a moment. Yep, I hear you charging up. Ember. Ooh, 
There's a shortcut here, and I don't really want to die before reaching it. Yeah, I really can't remember if the books addressed anything to do with Uncle Benjamin. Very ominous looking over there. See, it's caged over, but it's been torn open, or bent open. Well, within the abilities of a giant, of course. And now, remember the main doors from earlier? That wouldn't open. Da -da. Yeah, from here we can still see our friend. Not really sure that's much of a shortcut, but um, we're so nearly dead. Um, it lets somebody in that we don't necessarily like, but we do need him to appear. There we go. Listen very carefully to his voice. Well, this bridge is up. We can get across now. I'm going to get that item first. Expecting somebody to drop on me. Okay. It is a shortcut, not necessarily a good one. I wonder. Okay. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight. We do know him. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure? Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Not suspicious, right? Seems normal. Well, then just hold your horses a moment. I know, I know. Treasure is so sorely tempting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, then just... I... <laughs> we trusting him? Okay. <laughs> Shame on you, you greedy guts. Sound more familiar? Thought you could outwit an onion. Well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. Good one, is he? So by killing the giants first, his trap kind of failed. He is not the real Onion Knight. He is, however, wearing his armour. The armour of Katarina. Right, now if I can safely get up and around again. I did. Ruined his trap entirely. Kill the giant first, and he's not there to attack you. Now if I can get through here without dying, it'll be a small miracle. I think we're all right. Oh, oh no, no! I didn't put the, I didn't put the thing back down. Quick, 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 quick! 
Oh, he doesn't want to come in. That's good to know. Let's not rely on that too much in case he changes his mind. Onion Knight is dead, you say? Well... Okay, we're back up. Let's go say hello. Did you realise who it was, by the way? Oh, you can ask. I'll answer eventually. Did you recognise this guy? He was in Dark Souls 1 as well. I thought he was meant to still be here. That's right, he swaps to the other side. Look familiar now, maybe? He kicked us into a pit in the first game in the Tomb of the Giants. Ah. Yeah, he's Patches. Who actually is as much of like an in-joke as anything because he's been in all of the games made by From Software, the company that makes it, for a long time. Not even just Dark Souls. And he always, always plays a trick. Usually involving convincing you there's treasure somewhere and kicking you off into a pit. But, as for the onion, bro. Wow, you're following me a really long way. Really? You can stop there? Why stop there? Don't worry. We'll find Onion Bro. Dealt with you. It's completely unnecessary, but I really wanted to do it. So, Hello. Hello. sound more familiar? Anyone there? Anyone at all? I do like this bit of story. Oh no, what's he done? Oh, I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Sure have. Someone's swiped my armor. Oh, someone? Did you happen to see it anywhere? I mean, I've seen it, but it's not giving me that option. Oh, yes. I see. Not to worry. Great planning begets great fortune. An old tenant of the Knights of Katarina. Okay. And I am a master planner, I do say. Maybe you spend too much time planning, though. I'm in quite a pickle indeed. Maybe I can fashion a replacement from... Uh, um, Can't do anything. Right. We quickly, while we're here, we're going to end that quest line or, or finish this segment. I'm going to get some health first. And then we're going to go have a look, see if we can find patches. And get that armor back. Hopefully, we have enough souls. Damn it. Cheap shot, man. Cheap shot. Hit me with your best shot. Pat Benatar, I want to say. Ooh, that was weird. 
Ah, uh, he's kind of fussy, you see. He wants his clothes back, his armor specifically. He's a bit of a pain like that. Never stand with your back to a window. Classic mistake. He gives a deep ring. Oh. A ring bestowed upon the deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. In the cathedral slumber things most terrible, and as such, the deacons require a grand narrative to ensure they do not falter in their duty, a philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotesqueries at hand. There's bad shit in this cathedral, in case we weren't already aware. We got Lloyd's sword and shield ring given to Knights of the Way of White, depicting All Father Lloyd's Sword of Law and his Shield of Cast. Never have sex in a woods. Where'd that come from? Anyway, much time has passed since the worship of Lloyd was common in the Way of White. The clerics of Kareem had always strongly asserted that Lloyd was a derivative fraud and that the All Father title was self-proclaimed. They're the same. Is this still giving us any benefit? Not actually, no. So let's, in fact, let's tidy this up. That's fine. That's fine. And then, no. That. Cool. Yes, well, having sex any time in a horror movie, particularly if you're a teenager, is just guaranteed death. There's no two ways about it. So we're above, like we did this area before. Damn, oh, you little shit. But now we're up above. And I already see one trap. No. Ah, yes. No? That didn't work. That did not work. There we go. Another classic horror film mistake. Trying to summon the devil. Always works. Even when they only really mean it as a joke. Shit! They really piss me off. That was truly awful. There we go. Have you watched, um, what's it called? Is this the it's the green arrow and then there was one that came from a spin-off Constantine I know they've made a film of Constantine with Keanu Reeves which I kind of enjoy everything Keanu Reeves is in to be honest um, but they've done a series of it and it's actually not bad you've seen it that's cool I liked um, yeah I'll be interested to see where it continues, because it left it very... Bye. It left it very open at the end with that twist, didn't it? Wasn't amazing, but it was worth watching just about. How many guys are going to jump up or drop down when I attack him? I don't believe it's none for a second. There we go. Get off down. Pale tongue. Oh, is it not coming back? Have they not been given a second series? Because they were definitely hoping for it. It's so obvious from the way they left it. Um, Alright, this bit's a pain. Because if we fall off, we're immediately dead. 
And these guys don't like to play nice. Little shits. Jump off. There you go. They can, however, if given enough time, always be relied upon to do that. Hmm. This guy may prove to be a bit more of a problem. Let's run and get this item. Bless Gem and run away. Bye! If I get him to... Shit. Well, at least he also died. You know. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Yes, I know. I meant to die, honest. I must say, I've never looked into Hulu. But. Oh, that nearly killed me again. Got the rights to it, maybe they'll revive it. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, it could have definitely been done better, but it was fine for what it was. Shit, that has a long reach. And I'm rushing. Fall down. Do me a favor and fall down. Both of you. There you go. Did he? Oh no, I thought he survived for a second. I was like, how tough is he? Fall from all this... Ho oh, I see you. No? Oh no, I thought that was another thrall. The Midnight Texas? Can't say I do. Damn it. Fall off, please. No. I said fall off, please. I said no. I have to keep an eye out. Add it onto my list. Now that we've had the last episode of Rick and Morty. There we go. Give them enough rope and they'll hang themselves. Big, burly, heavily armoured people should not be fighting on rafters. I think I want to drop down there. This guy even has a crossbow. Like, what the hell's that about? Come on, then. Also fall off the edge, pretty please. Yep, perfect. <laughs> anyway. More of these, but all have their faces covered. Seem to have something growing out of their backs. Maybe that's why some of them have shells on their backs? To stop it, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, there's patches. Let's lift that bridge. Time for words, I think. Ah, y yes, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Um. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? Um. Yeah. You do indeed know who I am. It's not been that long. Ah. Oh. Yes. Of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand. 
as you know. But but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Blame the armor? Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. Okay. Look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, mm. we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> Prostration. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me. But, but yeah, exactly. An apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. Great, a rusted coin. Literally can't be used for anything. Yeah, blame the armor. As if the arm the armor it made me do it. And yet somehow the onion knights have never betrayed us. <laughs> you should know. I'm a kind of uh, travelling merchant. Travelling asshole. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. But he does sell. He sells items. So, first things first is we're going to. Don't know if we need the shield as well. I think we have enough. Leave? What, you don't want me to buy things from him? Because I was going to buy this armor Onion Bro's armor and drop it down to him. That's what I was thinking. The items are real items, they are always real items. Fact. May as well have a few of those. Black five arms, they'll be useful at some point. Thanks, sweeting. Sweeting? Do we look like a sweeting? Does 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 this look like a sweeting face to you? Anyway. There we go. See what's through here first. Up here. You're a little bit gross. Not too smart. You see there's one here, kind of. In fact the walls are still seeping with something. And now they all come out. No. It doesn't go as far as I keep thinking it does. It does look really cool. It's true, we don't know when he last saw a woman, but... As far as he's concerned, we're non-gender. Don't need to run from these. Look how slow they move and they, they just kind of end up in a pile. So you'll note this one doesn't attack us. Not entirely sure why. It's not friendly per se, but... Unfortunately for him, he dropped something. Which lets us fight other people should we ever want to, so we'll pick that up now. Why what? Why what? So yeah, these bars seem to just be snapped off. Not bent in any specific direction. Because he ain't getting near Rocket's booty. As far as he's concerned, no. That's fine. Whoop. Because we don't want him getting amorous with us. We don't. We, he's he's. We're not a romantic option for him. So this room is full of cots of some kind, including some hanging from the ceiling, which is quite an interesting design choice.
It's a bit of a shame that they don't move. They do break, though. Most things break. That's the armor of Kirk that we already fought and defeated. Now up here, somebody that we're not really sure of the identity of. Rosaria, mother of rebirth. It seems to be one of those creatures resting in her lap. Like that's the head at the front. We did hear about her. And I suspect in some form or another she is a god. The details are sketchy. But yeah, she doesn't do anything right now that we're overly interested in. So, for now, let's go give Onion Bro his armor. Oh no, she is awake. She is awake, just not doing or saying anything. Just being. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Siegfried. Siegfried. Where are you, Siegfried? I guess we'll throw his armor down. Oh, my armor. My deepest gratitude. I am Siegbert of Katarina. Salute you. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. Until we meet again, comrade. Until then, indeed. <laughs> He's a bit mental, but now... That's how happy Siegfried is. Which is pretty damn happy, if you ask me. So, how about we fight a really dumb boss? Well, not dumb. Fun boss. Not very hard. Shouldn't be hard. In fact, may even get some NPC helpers. Well, I didn't expect much. This is not the fastest way. This is definitely not the fastest way. Somebody's already trying to attack me. I think most people in this game are at least a little cuckoo. Seems to be part of going hollow. Losing your mind. Um, is this the fastest way? I feel like it is. Yeah, and then we just kind of go up here. We quickly go up here. We're safe. And we managed to not get leached once, which is quite an achievement. Guy's gonna come flying at us as soon as we step out. Yep, just like that. Thanks for demonstrating. Oof. Damn it. 
Damn it. Trapped in a corner. But that's fine. Just one of those nuisance deaths that happen far too frequently in this game. Who's messaging me? Oh, it's you messaging me. <laughs> okay, out we go. Let's try that again. Mm hmm. But I wonder if. I assume he's already gone? Yeah, he's already gone. No talk prompt. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. If it's on Netflix or Amazon, then I'll be able to add it to my watch list. My watch list is quite long right now. I've been getting into something called um, Black Mirror. It was on a few years back on Channel 4, and I missed it at the time. But um, It's essentially a series of what-if questions. Like... Generally involving technology in some way. A lot of dystopian futures. You've seen it? Ah, cool. Yeah, I just watched... Uh, what was the last one I watched? Might have been the memory one. Where everybody has the memory implant. And yeah, that's just obviously going to cause so many problems. But it would help doctors and a lot. You know, medical professionals. Oh, I've learned this information before. I can't quite remember it normally. Beep. Done. But yeah, so many ethical problems with that. I didn't really want them all to get angry with me at the same time. There we go. Ow. Ow. Back away. Shit. Well, that's a nuisance. Christmas special? Not got that far yet. New one freaks you out a little. What, one of these guys? Let's try and sneak around the back. While we're here. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Smooth moves. There we go. Getting a bit tense there. Deacon skirt. Great. Super useful. Oh, the new season of Black Mirror. I didn't know they were still doing new ones, to be honest. Let's get that cheap hit. Nope. Nice try. It's not really a series for binge watching, though, so it's taking a while. I'm watching one episode every now and then. When I'm in the mood to really think about it. Because they do pose some interesting and increasingly relevant questions. Let's use an ember. Yep. Now there should be some familiar faces. One here. Horace the Hushed. And come on. On Netflix, cool. Yeah, I've got Netflix. And Henri of Astora. We can have both of them. And they actually help in this one. I don't even feel bad because firstly it's an easy fight and secondly, well, we'll be kind of outnumbered, as you'll see. Hi guys. Hi Henri. Horace, I guess. <laughs> right. Down this way. Take that off. 
Okay. The Deacons of the Deep. Ow. Dick move. Dick move. Go, Horace. Ow. I'm just going to attack all of them. The only one that will actually do damage to the boss life bar in this is whichever one has the red aura. See that soul moving between them. There we go. Oh my indeed. We're basically fighting the entire clergy at this point. Where's the red one? There's the red one. Damn it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's perfectly manageable on your own, but it can be a pain in the ass. Speaking of, let's stab him in his. Now that we've dealt enough damage... No? Not yet? Okay. You see they're just constantly reappearing, though. Well, if we can't see them around here, they're also appearing around the back. But we have dealt a lot of damage. Cut their numbers down. Now it's time. There we go. Here's the Pope. Let's stab the Pope in the butt. And let's get out of there, because they're not happy about this. Ow, ow. That's going to hurt. Let's be a little bit more careful. He's doing something. I don't like it. Ow. Oof, oof. Poor Rocket's having a rough time in there. Now they're trying to do nonsense. I don't like this. No. Just kind of want to get in there and deal some hits. No, don't die. That'd be embarrassing dying against these guys. There's a lot of blackness going on up there. Come on, Horace, do your job. Oh, don't want to be in the middle of that. No, I do not. Summoning more blackness. Eventually, it would, in theory at least, start causing a problem. But honestly, we're fine. Ah, there we go, it is curse meter started building up which meant if we'd let them keep casting that spell eventually we'd just die but we'll do that let's do it again Henri died no how dare you how dare you huh poor Henri but there we go. Yeah. So we got... Welcome back, Kasha. Oh, we had this already. We didn't read this. The Twin Crystal Sages. That's the magic wizards from before. Yeah, that was the objective. But we're successful now. So the Twin Crystal Sages once served as spiritual guides to the scholars of the Grand Archives. And one went on to ally with the Undead Legion we also heard about in the opening intro and the deacons of the deep after aldrich left for the boreal valley archdeacon royce remained in the cathedral with the high priests to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin 
So, this is Aldrich's coffin. It's a pretty big coffin. Got to be said. Pretty big. What else did we get? We got the small doll, didn't we? Uh, there we go. Silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irathil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irathil. Wherever you may be, Irathil is your home. Yeah. Yeah. Now I need to do... Annoyingly, I have to quit the game and come back in quickly. Because there's an item there that needs to appear and it's very important. Very, very important. Possibly the most important item in the game. And there's a bit of a glitch where it doesn't appear normally like it should. Because there's no reason to ever come back to this area. So Aldrich that it mentioned, who's... who's coffin this is one of the uh, one of the lords who we are seeking whose soul we're after anyway this is what I wanted Are you ready for this? So. Uh, I'll double check there's nothing around the back, but I don't think so. My favourite bit is the hat. Can we get a close-up of the hat? Especially with that vacant expression. Because that's what the Pope who was in here dropped. Because I can, yeah, basically. It's not actually important at all. Actually, it probably does have some story on it. White crown worn by, the, in, by an Archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, presented solely to delegates of the gods. Of the three Archdeacons of the Deep, one cast off his white crown and left the cathedral to stand by Aldrich. So there's three deacons. One's going to be near Aldrich. Sure. So, I think very quickly it's back to filing, spend those souls, and then we're going to end for the day. It's getting. Yeah, it's already half five. Done three hours ish today? It's not bad. I shouldn't wear these clothes really because obviously not being armour. But Horace is there and so is Henri. We'll talk to them when we next stream this. In fact, well. let's not, we'll forget. I'll touch your darkness. We can get one whole ability point. Woo. Good. Glad to hear that. One. What's Horace got to say first? Oh, and we meet oh I spoke to Henri. We I got them mixed up. The road of Henri, of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. That's a really cool we armor set. The of the deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man eater must have left for his Yes, I read that home. item. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldridge is said to hail from Irithil, in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. So, they're heading towards Irithil of the Boreal Valley, which since we need to find the souls of these Lords of Cinder, and Aldridge is one of them, we are also going to have to go there eventually, I guess. Aldridge's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley. 
Should be Friday. Probably a late one, though. Um, although I could do two streams, one early, one late. Might do something more casual later. Let's see what Horace has to say first. Perfect, Horace. Perfect. Can that get us any interesting item? Answer is no. That's fine. Cool. So I think that's everything important. Nobody else standing around demanding our attention. No. Okay. So, um... Yeah. I think we're going to leave it there for today. Uh... Thanks for coming along. Hopefully see you soon. And or next time. Uh, until then. Do you have a dress for her? I will get a dress eventually. We can run around in a dress if that's what you really want. I will get hurt a lot by every attack. But yeah. We'll get a dress. I'll see what I can do. So yeah. Although we, we aren't very pretty at the moment. So I'll fix that around the same time. But anyway yeah. Thanks for popping by. Good to see you. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't work too hard. It's Wednesday, isn't it? So, yeah. You'll at least have work. Okay. I'll get a dress. I'm going to go now. I'm going.